what is the actual population of the city of Ontario? That's a more difficult question than you might think. I'm Kim Passoff in Ontario, where volunteers are spending time and their own money to get an accurate count. She is a grandma of 12, soon to be 13. This is my baby. It's one of my babies. That is Isaiah. This is my heart. Cassandra Cruz is also a volunteer with the DeAndre D. Lampkin Foundation, helping with the census effort. The census is important to me because I have grandchildren. My grandchildren are part of this future. She was surprised to learn a major city like Ontario has faced problems in the past getting an accurate population count. If we zoom in, this is Riverside County, this is Ontario. And these dark areas here are all the hard to count areas and we're right in the middle of the hard to count areas. The dark red or hard to count areas are areas that had low responses to the census 10 years ago. The city of Ontario tapped us to go ahead and take on this project. The city doesn't want to be the face of this because we know that there are stigmas attached with the census. DeAndre D. Lampkin, founder of the Ontario-based DeAndre D. Lampkin Foundation, says the city knows his organization's ability to connect to all members of the community. Ontario consists of about 71% of the Hispanic population, another 14% of African American. He is investing his own money to host a census kickoff party this Saturday with other nonprofits and faith based groups deeply entrenched in the community to encourage people to be counted despite any reluctance. We just want to make sure that we kind of put everybody at ease and, and let them know that, they're, that they matter. The organization hopes bringing awareness to the census in a very public way will help reach hard to count populations. Each person is probably valued at about $20,000 in terms of how much federal funding can be provided. So that's everything from roads to schools, welfare programs. Cassandra hopes talking to people face to face will help dispel some of the rumors and stigmas about the census count. I want to ensure that everyone is counted. This grandma knows the more people who are counted, the more money for the community, making it a better place for everyone.